Stop wasting time on resume that never gets you. Here's how to fix it. If you've been applying to fake job and hearing nothing but silence or rejection, I get it. I was in the exact same situation. Sending out resumes, getting rejected, and wondering what went wrong. Then I cracked the code. After watching a 100 resume tips video on YouTube and testing what actually works, I finally landed my dream job. And today, I'm giving you the shortcut. Straight to the point, proven strategies that will get your resume past the tracking software in front of recruiter and actually lends you interviews. Make sure to stay until the end of this video for some bonus tip and a free resume template. If you're serious about landing a job in data or tech, this is the video for you. So let's dive right into it. So now let's go over each section of my resume. We're starting with the header. And here is what I include in this section, your full name, city and region, make sure to avoid full home address for privacy, professional email, LinkedIn profile, GitHub, or a portfolio, more on that in a second. Also, you could add a QR code linking to your portfolio if you're applying in person. Avoid any photos, ATS may reject it, more on that later in the video. Why does having a portfolio matter? Because your resume tells recruiter you have the skills, but your portfolio proves it. A strong portfolio instantly sets you apart from other applicants by showcasing your critical thinking and ability to apply skills in real world scenarios. And speaking of portfolio, I've got you covered. I have an entire video where I walk you through how to create an integrated portfolio into your resume in just five minutes. The step-by-step -step guide ensures your digital portfolio complements your resume perfectly and leaves a lasting impression on potential employers. Moving on to our next section, the introduction, where you will make a strong first impression. Your introduction is your first chance to hook the recruiter and optimize your resume for ATS. It should be concise, impactful, and immediately highlight your core skills to ensure both recruiters and ATS software recognizes your value. So what makes a strong introduction? First, it clearly states your expertise. Second, it is ATS friendly. So let's go over an example. Here's a bad example. I am a highly motivated data analyst looking for a job. A good example would be result-driven data analysts with expertise in SQL, Power BI, and SAP BI. Proven track record, delivering actionable insight that optimize decision-making and drive business growth. Keep in mind to always focus on skills and popular tools. All right, let's talk about what is an ATS. ATS stands for Application Tracking System, and most companies use it nowadays. It's basically the robot that scans your resume before a human ever sees it. ATS are designed to help recruiters manage the hiring process efficiently by automatically filtering and sorting resume based on predefined criteria. The use of ATS has become increasingly common in companies, especially in large organizations that receive a high volume of applications such as Google, Amazon, Spotify. Here's how to refine your approach to getting past ATS system, which are known to eliminate up to 75% of applicants. Follow those three key tips to enhance your chances. First key tip is to optimize with job description keyword. ATS systems are designed to filter resume based on specific keywords that align with job description. An estimated 75% of resume are rejected because they lack those crucial keywords. So that's why you should read the job description and optimize your resume for it. Inspect the job posting to identify those essential keywords and phrases like SQL, data visualization, reporting, and ensure these are precisely shown in your resume. This direct match can sig significantly boost your resume visibility in the system. Next key tip is to maintain a simple formatting. Resumes with complex design or non-traditional formatting are often unreadable by the tracking system, leading to a high rejection rate. Issues such as using pictures, non-standard fonts, or layout can affect it. What you should be doing, adopt a clean, straightforward layout. Avoid any fancy design, tables, graphic, multiple columns, or any colors. Such simplicity ensures that the ATS software can easily parse and process your resume without errors. 
Last key tip is to use standard section headings. Why is it crucial? Creative or unconventional sections titles can confuse the ITS ATS system, which are programmed to recognize standard headings. What you should do is stick to conventional sections heading like work experience, education, and skills. This not only helps the ATS in identifying and categorizing your information correctly, but also ensures that the content is evaluated accurately. By following these three tips, you can significantly improve your resume chances of making it through the initial screening and into the hands of a human recruiter. Moving on to the education section. Your education section can be a powerful tool, especially if you lack extensive work experience. Instead of just listing your degree, use this section strategically to highlight relevant coursework, projects, and certification that align with the job you're applying for. What you should be avoiding is listing too many unrelated courses. You have to stick strictly to what is relevant for the job you're applying for. Adding high school education including GPA if it's below 3. Only include your GPA if it's strong enough to add value. Now for our most important section, work experience. Your work experience section isn't just about listing job titles. It's your opportunity to prove your value to employers. Recruiters don't just want to see where you've worked. They want to know what you accomplished, how you contributed, and the impacts you made. Now let's talk about how to make this section irresistible to recruiters and hiring manager. One of the best ways to structure your bullet points is by using Google's XYZ formula, which helps you clearly showcase your impact in a measurable way. So what is the XYZ formula? It's the way that Google recommends structuring your resume bullet points like this. Accomplish as measured by, by doing. X, Y, Z. This formula ensures that your experience is not only action-driven, but also quantifiable and clear to recruiters. Here's a bad example. Worked on Power BI dashboard for stakeholders. Here's how you will fix this by using the XYZ formula. Develop dynamic Power BI dashboard that monitored key sector initiatives resulting in a faster decision-making and improved revenue growth. Here's another good example from my resume. Develop real-time Power BI dashboard, improving decision-making efficiency by 80% by automating manual reports across multiple ministries. Keep in mind that numbers catch the eye improve impact, even if you're early in your career. By using Google's XYZ formula, you're making your resume clear, impactful, and result-driven, exactly what hiring managers are looking for. Now, take a look at your resume and rewrite your bullet points using the XYZ formula. You'll see an instant difference in how strong your experience sounds. Moving on to leadership experience and activities, adding leadership roles can set you apart. Employees love to see initiative, teamwork, and leadership skills even if they weren't developed in a traditional work setting. Whether you've led a student organization, volunteered, or taking on leadership roles in projects, this section highlights your ability to take responsibility, collaborate, and drive results. Now that we've covered leadership experience and activities, let's dive into the project. The project section of your resume is your secret weapon. Your resume tells them you have the skills, but your portfolio proves it. A strong portfolio instantly separates you from other applicants and is essential for data and tech roles. The project section will contain a summary of these projects included in your portfolio. You should include end-to-end -end data projects such as data cleaning, visualization, machine learning, or any dashboards. Case studies such as reverse engineering problem from real-world companies or any relevant personal projects. Keep in mind that if you're attending a career fair or networking event, convert your portfolio link into a QR code and add it to your resume. This makes it easy for recruiters to scan and access your work instantly. The skills and interest section of your resume isn't just filler. It's a strategic tool to grab the ETS attention and showcase both hard and soft skills that makes you a strong candidate. Hard skills like Power BI, SQL, Tableau, and programming in Python, Java, and SQL are essential for boosting your ETS ranking, since these keywords align with job descriptions. 
do not include proficiency levels like beginner or advanced. Meanwhile, soft skills such as project management, leadership, problem solving, and analytical thinking highlights your ability to collaborate, adapt, and drive results. Being bilingual or trilingual also adds value for global teams and even your interests like running, traveling, and reading reflects discipline, adaptability, and a growth mindset, making you stand out not just to recruiters, but also to the ETS scanning your resume. All right, before we wrap up, let's go over some bonus tips that can help you land a job even faster. First, network smarting. 80% of jobs are filled through networking. Follow people on LinkedIn, comment on posts, and message hiring managers. You never know who might refer you. Also, tailor your resume for the specific role you're applying for. Carefully analyze each job description and tweak your experience to match key requirements. For example, if the job mentions business intelligence tools, highlight your Power BI or Tableau dashboard and automated reporting using SQL. For tech companies, emphasize on SQL-heavy data extraction, Python-based automation, and A-B testing. Sometimes, small adjustments such as swapping data visualizations for Power BI reporting or emphasizing industry-specific projects can significantly increase your chances of passing the ETS filters and, impress and impressing recruiters. Always customize your resume slightly to reflect the job posting keywords and required skills. The final tip is proofreading and seeking feedback. Minor typos can make a bad impression, so I ask friends to review my resume. This helped me catch errors and refine my resume further before sending it out. And that's it. Now you have a game plan to land your first or next tech job in 2025. I have also included in the description box below a free downloadable template of my resume for your consultation at your convenience. If you found this helpful, Hit that like button, subscribe and drop a comment letting me know what part of the job search is the hardest for you. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you next Sunday.